into my channel Fancy Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I have used a ketogenic lifestyle to lose 205 pounds. I haven't made a video in a couple of days. I've got some inserts I'm going to show you of the past few days because of my internet. It has been too slow to upload any videos. That's why my yoga video is crazy, crazy behind. It was supposed to be out Friday. Um, and also I've gone and lost the stupid thing because when it failed to upload, it disappeared. I'm going through all my little external hard drives where it should be and it's not there. So I'm going to have to make that video again. I'm going to have to do that yoga again. So here we go. I'm going to show you the card manager and steps and videos of what I've eaten um, for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and of course today you will see what I've eaten today. And um, so it might get a little confusing. I'm going to try to walk y'all through it. Also, there's the GKI you're going to see today. There's going to be some clips of me talking some of those days as well. All that is about to be laid out right now because it is going to get a little confusing mixing so many days together. It's basically the card manager and steps from Thursday and then the video that you're going to see covers all the rest of the days because <laughs> it is Sunday right now. And boy, has this girl been insanely busy. Maybe it was a good thing my internet is not working. And I hope this video gets out Monday morning. But we don't know yet, do we? Because internet, yeah, yay. Because I have been insane working throughout this whole entire house. Because I've decided to not only repaint, revamp the room I'm sitting in right now. Which still does not have the correct wall decorations or anything. But I decided to go through and tear every single room in and closet apart in the whole entire house. 90% um, of the house is finally done, but I decided we are purging. If stuff has not been touched in years, bye-bye. Also, my daughter wanted to move a bunch more stuff to her room down at my mother's house, so that's been taken care of. Holy crap. I, if I had taken a video beforehand, it was like Quarterville throughout the whole entire house. You couldn't walk anything, boxes everywhere, everything being spread out, but my house is finally almost in order. Almost. It's raining today, so we couldn't finish, but it would have been finished today. But I'm going to show you what I can. I'm going to show you all that right now, including this morning's GKI. Okay, it is two o'clock almost, and I'm starving, so I'm having seven and a half ounces of air fried pork chops with the fat cut off, three ounces of uncooked carrots, and a collagen coffee. So it is Saturday 515, still can't do any uploads, so you are going to see multiple days together and the yoga video whenever it can upload. I gave up. Um, my upload speed is not existing right now. One good thing about not being able to upload is there's no reason to make tons of videos and because once I finally can, that's just going to take too long to upload all of them, right? So I'm making little statements and it'll be probably a little long video, but not too long. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday, I will be able to post it. And the other good thing is, um, I'm getting tons of housework done. Holy crap. I'm going to show in this video, the before and after of the room I've been working on. I have ripped my whole entire house apart. There is no room that is not ripped apart. I am, it's basically very deep spring cleaning, but it's fall cleaning, right? <laughs> Everything is being changed. It's a nightmare. So, it is almost six, five something. I, I, I might already told you all the time. Um, making me my second collagen coffee of the day. I had one a couple hours ago. I did not eat today. Nothing. No protein shake, no nothing. I have had a very, very long day of fasting and a very, very long strenuous day. Yesterday, I got over 14,000 steps painting a room, people. Painting a room. And I don't even know how many I've gotten today by working and moving stuff. So everything got moved out of that room. We got painted. Now stuff has been moved into that room. Not the same stuff. I'm taking all my Christmas stuff and I'm taking that big closet and turning it into a Christmas closet. Um, and some other stuff is being stored in there. It's going to be my YouTube office slash posh room. 
Um, if the posh thing doesn't work out, you know, I can always get rid of the clothes later in the future and have more space in there. It's not taking up too much space, though. <sighs> Every room is a disaster. I hear my dad screaming. So, um, I'll let you know what I eat today because I'm on my way to Best Buy to pick up a TV and some Bluetooth speakers for that room. And, um, I'm gonna have to get something while I'm out. Because just they have made my pork chops for my whole family. They usually don't eat my food. And, um, that was my pork chops for the whole weekend. So now I'm out of food. Saturday night, almost 9 o'clock. This is my first meal of the day. I did have a protein shake at 6. I am ran out today. I am just dead. It is Sunday morning. Haven't checked ketones since the last time I showed y'all. So almost a week ago when I gave up doing it. I have been extremely keto and extremely active. What is going on? It should be so much higher. I'm staying under 20 total carbs, so it's 0.6. I'm staying under the 20 total carbs. I'm moving my butt around. Okay, glucose. And yes, I am working my muscles. I know that could be the problem too. I am in so much pain. Glucose is 91. Maybe it's the stupid carrots. You know, I've eaten carrots before. Okay, so let's go over a few things really fast that you just saw there. Thursday steps was 8,627 steps. That was an okay day, total carbs 24. Friday was 13,535. That is from painting the room I'm in right this minute. That is from taping it, stripping it of everything, um, painting it, fixing stuff, building this... DVD stand over here to me. Whoa, was that a crazy day? And I had 18 total carbs that day. Yesterday was insane. I fasted from the time I went to bed on Friday night until about 6 p.m. or so, or later. I don't know. It might have been 8 o'clock. I think it was 8 o'clock when I finally got to eat, but I did have a protein shake around 6.30 or something. Oh, it was insane day. So I got 11,518 steps in and 18 total carbs. My GKI, 8.4. So yes, I am in low ketosis, but I'm in ketosis. That's all that matters to me. I have not been taking my ketones. I have not been stepping on the scale. The last time I stepped on the scale was sometime during the week, which I did not record it. It had said 170, you know, my lowest is 163, but I changing doses of my heart meds, which I, I'm trying to get off of them, so we lowered them. It has three plus weeks of horrible side effects to coming off of them. One is water retention. Two, taking Motrin, ibuprofen, puts water on me every, every, every time. And, um... I have been taking two or three a day to get through the past week. There were a couple of days I didn't take it, and then, nope, I've been taking one this morning. So the water weight was completely normal. I stepped on the scale this morning. It is a lower, but I'm not going to say how low because I'm not really sure. I stepped on it way later. Um, I haven't gone down in weight. We're just trying to get the water weight back off. But we're not concentrating on that because then I will start getting all emotional and upset that it's taking so long. Um, I'll probably do a weigh-in video tomorrow. And we know it's water weight. So I'm not going to freak out. None of us are going to freak out. <laughs> so, because I'm wearing smaller clothes than I was. Like yesterday was some off-scale victories. One thing is an off-scale victory. All my life, so 368 pounds, never been able to sit down on the ground and cross my legs. Like sit, I guess it's called 
crisscross applesauce down because Native uh, Indian style is racist, I've been told. I have Native American blood, two different tribes, so uh, I can say what I want. I'm a strong believer that you can't be racist if it's in your blood, in your culture. Just can't. So, yeah. So I hadn't been able to sit that way in, uh, since I was a kid, to be honest. And I have not been able to get on the ground in years. My brain still tells me, you ain't going to be able to get back up. You're going to have to call a bunch of people to come lift you back up off the ground. Well, during that painting, I was on my knees. Of course, they're bruised, but I was on my knees for hours doing the trim and scrubbing the floors and doing all kind of stuff um, without hurting my knee, without it popping out of the socket, without being in tears, crying. I have not been able to do that. Even seven months ago, I could not get on my knees. That was just not a thing. My knee actually would pop out of socket. I have a condition in my stupid knee that it would just pop completely sideways out of socket you hear me screaming and I, yes i learned young how to pop it back in and it's real popping out the doctors taught me same with one of my shoulders um because it's what i've had to live with all my life did not happen at all no popping out no nothing just bruised knees from being so bony there sat on the floor crisscross applesauce style it, stupid name but <laughs> And did the DVDs. No pain, no hurting, nowhere. And I could have said like that forever. No falling over this way or falling over that way or backwards or frontwards. No more being a round little ball that's going to fall. Like, that was a huge off scale victory. My brain finally understands I can get on the floor and get back up because it has not let me do that this whole time. Because even when I did it, it was like, you know you're going to fall. You know you're going to get hurt. You know your knee's going to pop out. You know your hip's going to hurt for days if you sit like that. You can't even get down for one second. How are you going to get back up? No, this girl can do it now. It's off scale victory, and I beat out my mind because my mind kept telling me I couldn't. Okay, you saw that I had bacon this morning. I didn't do breakfast for the last couple of mornings, and I did not get hungry until supper time. Uh, not this time. I had breakfast at 10 a.m. because I slept in until 10 a.m. And I had a half a college and coffee. Like, when the scoops. Uh-uh. I am starving now. It's 2 o'clock. Absolutely starving. Having the other half of the scoop right now. So, I'm going to have to drink a protein shake soon. I have errands to do today. I've been cleaning house since 10 a.m. Maybe it was 9. I don't know. I woke up somewhere in there. I was exhausted. I was in tons of pain. I told myself I deserved extra sleep for all this work I've been doing. Finished the living room. Well, 90% of it. There's a pile of stuff my daughter's getting rid of, but she has to go back through it because she's not sure if she did it right. Um, but yeah, that's been my last few days. And this whole internet thing's driving me crazy and my whole, um, lost that yoga video and now I'm going to be doing two this week because I have to redo that one and do the new one which I'm not complaining about I'm not complaining about it at all I just got to find time to do it um and I, I'm happy that was in this challenge I'm just really sad that I have not lived up to it good enough like my internet and now I've lost the video and have any of y'all accidentally like deleted a video or lost it? Like, I don't even know how I lost it. I had to have deleted it. I was, my computer got too full. I was moving stuff to the external hard drives and deleting it after I copied it to the external hard drives because it was like, I have to do this every couple of weeks because the one terabyte gets eaten up alive. I have 20 terabytes of external hard drives. But they're starting to get full too. But I want to delete all my videos because what if YouTube loses my videos one day? Or oh, I want to upload on a different platform. But I think I deleted it before it got transferred over because there's a few missing. So hopefully this video has not been too confusing. I will show you what I continue to eat today. My daughter wants Boston Market. I can't remember if I got sick the last time I ate Boston Market or not because some things give me really bad heartburn. But I'm supposed to go pick that up for her. I get her um, a good amount so she can eat it for days. She likes to just warm it up in the microwave and eat the same thing for days. It's cheaper and healthier than McDonald's because she likes their soup and she loves eating just the rotisserie chicken and I think it was some kind of green, not green bean, broccoli thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up and see exactly what she wants. 
which I know is not keto, but that's okay because she's not keto. I'm the keto person. Oh, way too hot. Way, way too hot. So I'm still trying to decide what kind of pictures and decorations I want to put up here on these walls. Um, so I will just, you know, figure it out as I go, I guess. Um, right now, Halloween's up, of course. I gotta make sure the battery is working because at night I want to turn them on. But I think that's it right now. How have y'all been doing? Is everyone sticking to keto? Have you fallen off? There's so much stuff I want to do. Like, I still got to meet the pumpkin puree. Y'all would not believe how hectic my life is. I might not have an army of kids running around or a bunch of people living in my house. But between trying to fix my house, clean it, organize it, deal with my boyfriend over the phone, do what he wants to do to you over the phone, and then go do everyone's groceries and errands and go get their fast food every day and do this, do that. I feel like I don't have a second to myself plus make the YouTube videos. Um, and you would think not having to do the YouTube videos the last couple of days I'd have tons of time, but I haven't because I've been ripping the house to pieces. I do this once a year, okay? I do this whole purge thing. And I get, every year I let go of more and more stuff because I was keeping stuff all my life. I'm 42 years old and I still have baby dolls from when I was a little girl that my grandmother made me. I still have them too. They're just put away. Um, so it's a purging thing. And every year I get rid of more and more. So it get and then I buy more and more, right? <laughs> But I've done really good, really good for my living room. My living room's amazing. The, my daughter's, well, it used to be called the YouTube room, but she sleeps in there now, and she doesn't want me to change anything, and my rooms are getting pretty confusing in my house. And then my closets are all done. Every closet in the house is done. So I still got my bedroom to tackle. And I'm not doing much to that, because... There's no way to really do anything. I have this big, huge elliptical that I don't know how to take apart. And even if I did, I could never lift those pieces to move it anywhere else. It is unmovable. We can't even shove it in the room. And it was, they built in a weird place. So my room is just all crap and there's nothing I really can do about it. But I'm going to shut up and I will tell you how the rest of my day goes and what I eat. And definitely going to go have me one of those protein shakes. As long as I drink them every day, my stomach gets used to the milk protein in them and I don't have a stomach issue. I notice when I cut out all milk is when I start having reactions to the milk. So that's what we're having in a few minutes. Yes, I'm a mess. So um, not only am I fighting with my internet, but I have officially strained the attendance from back here all the way down my arm like I did on the other side a year ago. I did everything with my right arm, carrying the desks, the computer chairs, the big boxes, the weights, everything so that I wouldn't hurt the left side any more than I already had. And now I'm going and hurt this side. I've taken some Motrin. I'm almost going to throw up from the pain. I can't take any other kind of pain medicines. I'm allergic to muscle relaxers. There's nothing I can do. Hopefully it's not as severe. Hopefully it's just a little pinch nerve that will get better on its own in a day or so. And this won't be up Monday morning because the internet is still broken. So I don't know when you're going to see all this. So yeah. But my house is clean. I have pain. No internet. <laughs> but I do have a clean house, right? <laughs> I feel like everything's falling apart the last couple of weeks. Like, I hope I am not driving y'all crazy or boring y'all or whatever because my this is just my life right now. Just ow, falling apart. Literally falling apart. Monday evening, I had two ounces of the rotisserie chicken from Boston Market without the skin. It started to give me heartburn, so I stopped eating it. I also had two ounces of their turkey. Both had, I could eat all of it, and it would only had one carb a piece. Um, but because I got a boo-boo and I can't really cook or do anything, I'm going to have three ounces of my petite carrots, four ounces of my blackberries, and I am making five slices of bacon as well. 
and that will be my dinner and then I will be going to bed. Ketones 0.3. Now this does not make sense, people. glucose okay so forever no matter what I eat or drink my first meal of the day always raises my blood sugar um, at least 20 to 25 points so I decided it's been two hours and I want to see what my coffee did this morning Remember, I'm used to it always jumping, so it won't be a big deal. I just want to find out if it's jumping more than that. And, and I also took my ibuprofen, which within two hours jumps it as well. And it didn't jump 20. I'm very excited about this. I am perfectly fine with that. I would like it 92 or less, but um, that's okay. Let's go and try ketones. I did have, you know, some butter and MCT powders in the collagen. I'm not gonna keep wasting ketones like this, but I would like to know, did my ketones get higher or did they get lower? And I'm starving, I'm about to eat some bacon. I usually eat the bacon immediately, but today I was trying to do no breakfast or take it as long as possible. It's 11.40 now. Ketone 0 0.4. Did it go higher? I don't know, but my blood sugar went higher. So we'll see what the GKI is. So by the time this is done cooking, it will be close to... 12 o'clock and I am starving today so I'm going to do an old favorite I have not done in a while. So, and I'm going to put a twist on it because it is October. So we're going to take two eggs, normally three, but I haven't eaten eggs in a very long time and I don't know what it's going to do to me because I have issues with eggs. I have issues with eggs when they've been cut out of my diet, not if I eat them every day. And they've been cut out of my diet for a very long time. I've had trouble trying to get them back in. So, we put the two eggs in it, one tablespoon of heavy cream, but I don't have any, so I started using water before, so it works too, I've done it before. Then we're gonna put a little bit a vanilla extract. I just drop a few drops in there. Then I'm going to take, uh-huh, uh-huh, pumpkin spice. Oh, I have not even opened it yet, so let's get this thing open. So I've never done a pumpkin spice one before. I usually do cinnamon, glazed donut, um, any of the flavor zero extracts. Originally, I was gonna do candy corn this morning. Mm -mm -mm. But I really love pumpkin, so we are going to make a pumpkin one. We're going to sprinkle some in. I'm probably going to add some on the top when it's done. So, no, I must put the wrong lid on that. That would not have been fun. All right, this is where you get to decide what kind of sweetener you want to stick in there. I have some brown sugar um, monk fruit. So this is what I'm going to use. Just sprinkled a little in there. It's probably less than a teaspoon. Always add salt for me, because I never get enough salt and I need to bring in the um, flavor better. Now I'm just going to mix this up. So, 
here's where you can now decide what you want to do with it. Do you want to make a chocolate? Go in some mozzarella cheese um, so it doesn't overpower all the other flavors and make yourself a chocolate. But I do a thing called a uh, jelly cake is what I like to call it because it's my little thing um, that I came up with. So I'm going to take coconut flour. See, I hated the texture of almond flour and pancakes. So one day I decided let's put some coconut flour in there. I don't like it very, um, I like it more eggy. You don't taste the egg, but I like the lightness of it. So I only use one tablespoon of coconut flour. And I usually use three eggs, but we're going with two only. And of course I make a mess because, you know, I'm messy. And we're going to fry this up in a pan like you would any other pancake. I'm going to sit here and whip it some more. I might have to put it in my little machine because I do have a neck injury and it is hurting me doing this right now. So I'm going to put it in my little machine and whip it up and then cook it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what they made. They look like pancakes. They really are just, you know, use coconut flour and eggs. And I'm using the pumpkin spices for pumpkin pie. So we'll see what it tastes like. I'm having four strips of my bacon, one ounce of blackberries, two ounces of strawberries, and a half a tablespoon of butter. And it's 12.01. I'm about to take my first bite. I look like crap, so I'm not going on camera right now, and I'm in a lot of pain. So, I just want to see if the pumpkin spice works out, if I should have put more in there, if I should have put more monk fruit. We're about to see. I'm not using syrup, and I went ahead and put um, another half a tablespoon of butter on there. Okay. I don't really taste the pumpkin spice. I think that's time I need to put way more. And I need to put my cinnamon that I normally do because I figured this had enough cinnamon. I don't need to add any more. So next time I'm definitely going to add some more pumpkin spice to it and probably some more Himalayan salt. But I haven't had it in forever and hopefully it doesn't upset my stomach. So I'm going to sit and eat now. So I'm making my second collagen coffee of the day right now. Um, I ate that food. I have a tiny bit of tightness in my stomach. Not a whole lot. Um, but I think it's just because I ate too much food at once. Like, that was a big amount for me at one time. But I really did not realize how much I miss those little pancake thingies. Like... Oh my gosh, they are so yummy, and I really miss them. And tomorrow I might make more, and I'm going to make sure and put more of the pumpkin spice in there, like a lot more. So, because of my neck thing right now, my head is shaking way more than it has been in a long time. Um, yes, I'm in severe pain. I've spent my day, let me show you, right there on that couch. I have spent my day right there. Watching people's YouTube channels. Uh, because I really can't do anything. Literally. I can't stand long. My head starts shaking, which hurts my neck even more. Yes, I know. I do too much, but... And this girl ain't got a man here to help her. Like, I have to do everything <laughs> by myself. So, I overdid it. And I really, really strain my neck. And I should know better. But always I'm like, you're so much less weight. And you're, you like have gotten stronger, but not that strong. Not to overdo myself for three plus days straight, nonstop from 6 a.m. until I go to bed at night. Moving, cleaning, scrubbing, painting walls. Like this is my right side that I've pulled really bad. And um, like I didn't have to hold my arm weird right now so that it doesn't hurt and mm -mm. no I did way too much way too much it really pulled something so now I have to suffer being bored over there on that couch with no internet to upload still I have um internet to like watch tv and stuff but my upload is not in a 0 0.01 like it's non-existing so if I want to upload a five minute video it will take 72 hours or more 
my cell phone goes in and out so much where I live that there is no way to upload. And no, I'm not going to go into town, which would be like a 45 minute to an hour drive, to go sit out at Starbucks and put my cell phone, because I don't own a laptop that can um, hold videos, um, to... I got hair in my mouth, <laughs> to go upload on their internet because this girl, you might think I'm being paranoid, but I have been hacked from my own house before and terrorized by my information from my own computers and different things, and they stole banking information and photos, and guess what? I learned all about hacking and all about what people can do. Especially when you go use a public Wi-Fi network. Do you know when uh, you sign on that public Wi-Fi network, um, me or anyone who knows in a tiny bit or has a little app can steal everything off your devices 100%. So, yes, I'm the girl who refuses to use Wi-Fi in places. Now, that little laptop over yonder um, is not good enough to upload videos um at all the battery will die it's really little it's not like a real real laptop um it's a samsung little note thingy so i can't take it and use it yes there's no real information on there except my youtube information which i i don't want people stealing either i know you think it's paranoia but uh, <clears throat> i've been there done that already already have been hacked. My identity has been stolen multiple times in my lifetime. Even when I was 18, I learned very young that these crazy things can happen to you. Like, for real. So I'm going to finish this coffee. Go curl back up over there. I'm hoping the internet will be fixed tonight. They're saying nothing's wrong with it. It's just, yeah, that's what I'm always told. Nothing's wrong with it. And then a miracle happens and it starts working again after they come out and mess with the box. If nothing was wrong with it, then why, when you mess with the bots, does it start working again? Yeah. Craziness, craziness. Plus, I've lost some videos because, you know, I delete them on my phone. And then I, I put them in my computer and I normally upload and I have an iMac delete. Like, I transfer over into external hard drives and then it deletes them off my computer because my computer gets filled really fast. And it didn't, it didn't upload. They failed and... I don't know what happened, and I guess I had deleted them before transferring them, but I've never done that before, but they're missing. <sighs> Let me tell you, by the month of October, starting today, I'm going to do that 30-day challenge. Um, so I started it today. I'm going to try to stay under 20 total carbs. We will see. I've changed my macros to a keto macro using net carbs instead of total carbs right now. I want to see what the difference is. Um, right now I've used 15 total carbs because of that stupid little one tablespoon of coconut flour. I think it's like 8, 9, 10. I don't know. It's somewhere up there. Um, so yeah. I'm going to shut up and go drink this coffee. It's been two hours since I had that yummy breakfast. And no issues from the eggs. It is a miracle. No burping, no stomach pains. I digested it just fine. Um, it is the first time I've digested eggs fine since March. Um, I used to eat eggs every single day. I couldn't find eggs until about May, I think it was, when we finally found them. Because I can only eat the brown cage-free. It either has to be Costco brand or the Member Mark brand from Sam's. I can't even do the one from that they sell at Walmart. It is a different one. Um, and I... The last few times I tried to eat them, I got really sick, but I don't know if they've changed how they're doing it now, like what they're feeding them or, because, you know, with this whole virus thing, everything got crazy, but today is the first day I've had eggs since March without getting sick, so I am extremely excited because I really miss those pancake things. Um, yes, I'm back on the couch because, like I said, it's really hard to hold my neck. It is a lot of pain. So I'm sitting here going through everyone's YouTube channels. I'm so far behind because I was busy all weekend. Um, I haven't watched anyone's videos in probably four days. So I'm trying to catch up since I can't do anything else today. 
And hopefully my video will get up there because I'm taking clips of every day and it's going to start like getting a really long video if my net doesn't start working right. Like I said, I do have to redo the yoga video and make the next yoga video. So my neck needs to hurry up and heal. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm a total mess. I'm just like, yeah, this is what you get, people. This is what you get. Um, the Motrin really is helping. It's not helping my water weight at all. So that is one thing you're going to see, my weigh-in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead so it, so it doesn't confuse you. I'm going to go ahead right now after this video and put it, I'll do it right now. I'm going to put in my weigh-in, my GKIs for the day because I've done two of them. Um, and we'll look at that. Okay, so I am up over five pounds on that scale or about five pounds of water weight. I have not cheated at all. I've worked my booty off for four plus days. I have not been extremely high calories. I've been hitting all my targets. So yeah, one second. Hi, honey. Give me one second. Hold on. One second. So, I think it's the ibuprofen causing me those issues, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I've been waiting for him to call a day, and we will see what happens, right? And I'll show you what I have for dinner. Just called to say good morning, so he got off the phone really fast. So, as you saw, I was not in ketosis this morning or hours later after having my first coffee, but my blood sugar did not raise like it normally does much. Um... Also, my, you know, GKI got a little better by two points, so that's a, a plus, I guess. I just cannot get back in the ketosis. I know, a lot of y'all do not do GKI, and you'd be like, she's in ketosis, she has ketones. I don't do it that way. So, if you do, yay for you, like, then I'm never out of ketosis, even when I eat um, like even after eating those crackers two weeks ago, I would have been in ketosis the next day or the day after with no problem or a few hours later, just depending on when I took them because I had ketones. However, I don't do it that way. I do GKI ketosis because for me to feel good, I need it moderate to high ketosis, not low and not it ha like, you know, most people don't do GKI. It's a me thing, I guess. Um, so if you're new to my channel, I know it's been pretty crappy for the last two weeks. You know, I got sick, ate some crackers, couldn't get back in ketosis, went up in water weight, then pain, then lowering my blood pressure meds, which isn't, okay, it is a blood pressure med, is the easiest way for me to explain it to people, because they don't understand. Um, they don't really prescribe it too much for blood pressure. It is prescribed for heart conditions, heart palpitations, different things like that. So I just call it blood pressure meds for people, because some people put on it for blood pressure. I was put on it for heart palpitations. I will be honest, though, lowering my dose as low as I have, I my blood pressure is high now. Not high, high, like normal high, I guess. It's like 120 over 80, um, which is considered the highest you should be, period. But it's normally 90 over 60, 87 over 53. Like I was having low blood pressure and now it's raised drastically. However, Ibuprofen raises your blood pressure, especially as much as I am taking. I am taking anywhere from 16 to 2400 a day. Um, it raises your blood pressure. It raises my sugar. It kicks me out of ketosis, but it's the only pain meds I can have, and I really need it badly. It's more like to help my muscles and nerves and stuff like that. It also helps my head from not shaking as much. Um... So that could be the problem. That could be why my blood pressure is high. Pain causes blood pressure and sugar to go high in people as well. I mean, there's all these things to factor in. It's why it's like a guessing game right now and I need to stop guessing. It's why I stopped taking my blood glucose. It's why I stopped getting on the scale because all I do is sit and guess. Is it the carrots? Is it messing with me? 
is, even though I'm staying under 20 total carbs, is it this? Is it that? Is it blah, blah, blah? It's probably everything together, and it's probably not those poor little carrots' fault, and here I am blaming them. I have one serving left of them, which I will probably eat tomorrow. I was going to eat them today, but I don't know if I have that left in my macros for today. Um... I'm supposed to be to doing total carbs at 20 or less, uh, but I don't know. I really like to do net carbs right now. But the five pounds of water weight that I'm carrying is not changing my size at all. Like, I am wearing smaller clothes than I were five water weight pounds ago. So it's not affecting my size. Um... I'm also started the solo water, so sole water, um, which I've been told you can retain a lot of water when you first start that. And I've been doing it for about two weeks now and upping the dose a little more each day. I've made it to two tablespoons a day, I think. Um, so that's a factor. If we're exhausted, even though I go to bed and I laid in my bed for like 15 hours last night, it's I think I said I only slept eight and a half hours because I had to get up and pee so much. I was expecting a water whoosh. I wasn't expecting to go up on the scale because technically I'm up a pound from yesterday. So yeah. So my thing about my channel is most people in keto don't have to struggle like this. I am showing you what a very sick body when they first start keto. A person with severe issues that will probably never go away. Stomach issues that Keto did not fix for me. I mean, it's a billion times better than it was, but it's still there. My IBSD has completely healed with keto, though. Like, it, I don't have any issues as long as I eat keto for that. Um, fibromyalgia will always be there. It, in certain times of the year, September to around January, all the way through, is severe flare-ups for me. Um, I have nerve damage, I have muscle ripped, torn over the years that get damaged really easily like this. Um, so this is me with polycystic ovary syndrome, I had type 2 diabetes, I'm complex hydroplasia, it's basically where the cells in your uterus can turn to cancer over time. Um, oh my gosh, like my health issues were long as anything and most of them don't affect me anymore being keto. Uh, <coughs> but I still have some issues. Um, keto didn't heal everything for me, but it's healed 90 something percent of everything for me. So I have to struggle. My weight loss is so much harder than some other people. I don't know what my resting metabolic rate is, but I do know before keto, it was 1100 so four years ago it was 1100 because of polycystic ovary syndrome and dieting over and over again since I was a teenager my whole life was a diet and I stuck with them forever until I started gaining weight on each one and would switch to a different one So it's why um, I gain weight eating 600 calories a day because they were carbs and I'm insulin resistant and the insulin will cause you to gain more fat inside your body. See a lot of people it's all about calories but then when you don't realize that um, fat can be created by the insulin in your body, like think about it. Have you ever eaten, let's say, sweet potato casserole, loaded with butter, loaded with sugars? If you were to eat that all the time, fat and sugar together, it's like the sugar, the carb, and the potatoes, and all the brown sugar you put in it, and the maple syrups, and whatever you put in yours, um, marshmallows. It's like a sponge that opens up your fat cells and allows all that butter and all the nasty fat that's inside there to get sucked into your body. It like meets it where your body doesn't use that fat. It just stores that fat. So the reason keto works is that yummy butter, because you didn't eat that sugar, 
your body's going to use that yummy butter as fuel and it's not going to get stuck in any fat sores. Like it's not going to get stuck in anywhere. I know, really childish uh, thing I'm saying. Like I'm not even using scientific or adult words right now. But it's totally true. Think about it this way. You have a fat cell loaded with fat. You've used it all up. It shrinks down. It fills up with water. This is why it's called water weight. And then you have a whoosh and you, it finally lets that water go and you pee it all out. This is why people get fat again. Listen to this part. You ready? So the, the fat cell never goes away. It's still there waiting for you to feed it so it can get big really fast again. It's why when you eat a lot of carbs, the carbs like a sponge. It opens those up and lets you hold in water, which no big deal. You can pee it back off in a few days or a week or so, right? However, let's say you ate tons of fat and sugar together. All right, and you did this for a long period of time, um, it's going to suck in the fat, burn like the sugar and stuff for your energy, like the carbs, and now they're not filled with water. They're filled with fat. And because they have a memory, they start talking to all the other fat cells that are empty in your body, like little pockets. And then as soon as you eat fat with sugar or carbs, uh, your body uses the carbs and sugar to burn and the fat gets sucked into those old pockets. It's why people say you can gain a lot of weight after going off keto. No, if you were to eat like a normal person, don't eat dessert every day, leave it for Sundays or Saturdays or something. <clears throat> don't eat the breads every day. You know, back in the old days, that was a treat to have Sunday bread and stuff. So if you were to eat normally and not give yourself sweets all the time or anything like that you wouldn't be sucking in all this fat so basically if you do a normal diet you need to do still a lower carb and low fat because if you do carbs and fat together you suck it up in there uh, and thomas de explains this so much better and more scientifically than me I am dumbing it down for myself and other people who don't like the big scientific words, okay? Because in my mind, if I'm imagining there's these pockets in my body and it'll suck fat up in it and it's nasty looking, I'm sitting there thinking, ooh, I got all these nasty pockets of fat. Like, it just plays, gives me an image that I don't like. And then I can be like, yeah, never sugar and fat together. Mm-mm. Like, I've already decided for Thanksgiving, I'm having my mama's dressing, which is made with cornbread and stuff. So that is, and I don't have it with gravy. It doesn't have butter and stuff in it. So I won't be doing a carb and a fat. It's just going to be some water weight gain. Um, I'm not doing like potatoes or anything like that. Maybe a few llama beans. Um... And my dessert, I'm not even going to have a dessert that night probably. And if I do, it's going to be a keto pumpkin bread or um, something keto for dessert. The only place I am cheating on is really for that um, cornbread stuff, the dressing. Um, I had to explain to my boyfriend what that is. He's thinking ranch, French, you know, salad dressing. I'm like, no, here in the South, here in the South, we make cornbread. And we break it up in a bowl. And some people use this bread or bread crumbs or other ingredients. And you put in like some chicken stock of broth. Some people cut up turkey or chicken and stick in it. Um, we don't usually do that. Um, we, uh, we don't use onions in mine because it gives me heartburn. But it's normally onions and celery. So I do celery and carrots in the one I eat. Um, so we're only going to make me a small dish. I'm only going to have it for like that one day. Maybe two days. Um, just because I love it cold. So I'm just going to make a really tiny dish so I don't actually overeat. I'm going to have my mama just pour me a little small one and throw some carrots and celery in it. And you bake it back in the oven until it's, you know, almost like a cake. I like mine a tiny bit undercooked. Um, and it is so, so yummy. And I have skipped it every year since I've gone keto. Okay, this would be the fourth Thanksgiving because I'm working on year four now of keto. September was year three. 
this would be in the fourth year without my mama stressing. And I'm like, we are not getting any younger. And that is something that has always reminded me of Thanksgiving my whole life. And that's what I'm having for Thanksgiving. Just like that. I don't care. I'm having it. I've already decided. And then what do we do? We go to keto the very next day. So that's why I'm going to do just a really small dish of that cornbread stuff. The dressing. Yeah, I know I'm winking. I don't mean to wink, but sometimes when my head doesn't shake, like when I'm not letting it shake, it winks. Like, I don't even know. Like, I got a lot of nerve damage going on right now. So, I'm looking like crap. My hair's a mess. I swear, they did not do a good job because my roots are already growing back in. That was too much money to already see some roots growing back in. Because I go in to get my roots completely done and they put some highlights in it. Lots of highlights that cost a fortune. Take my blonde away and cut my hair all off. That ain't happening next time. I'm going in and we are making all my roots blonde. Period. No highlights. No caring what the rest of the hair looks like. I just want all the roots blonde because I'm okay with ombre. I'm okay with it looking ridiculous as long as my roots are not a dirty blonde. I hate dirty blonde. Um, and I can always dye over it at home. But... Not the roots. I don't do the roots myself. That or I'll just go complete copper for the rest of the winter. I don't know. I am riling. I know. I'm I'm bored. Um, just laying here by myself all day. It's kind of weird after working so much for the last four days to literally just be laying here. And this video is really long. I just realized I've been rallying for 14 minutes plus all the other that's going to be tied to this. Oh my gosh. I might have to make this two separate videos. 3 o'clock. I am having 5 ounces of turkey from Boston Market. They put really nothing on it. It's um, one carb. And I am having 4 ounces of my carrots. I know I'm probably going to go over my total carb today. But I'm okay with that. It's my last amount of carrots so I want to get them out of my fridge and I'm starving and need to take a Motrin in about 30 minutes so I need some food in me so that's why we're eating right now.